Okay, we need to train our brains to think precisely and positively. If we're struggling to understand something, then we need to say, I don't understand that yet. You don't get to say things like that doesn't make sense when it's a math concept because math literally <laughs> makes sense. It's logical. So if something doesn't make sense to you, that is an opportunity to listen more carefully, to watch more closely, to try some things out and recognize you're about to have a learning experience. One example is things like five squared, two squared, three squared. You have to get in your head that when you see that exponent of two, you have a square. Get out some graph paper or something, measure it and draw it. So five squared means five times five. That exponent tells you how many times to multiply the base by itself. So if it is a two, then five squared is five times five, which is 25. And then if it's a three, five cubed is 25 times five because it's five squared times five. You keep on multiplying the base by itself. And that is going to be another whole exciting lesson. But another thing that goes right along with that is if you have an exponent of zero, the answer is always one. That's your starting point. And the reason is that you cannot divide any number by itself and land on zero. It will land on one and then it will turn into a fraction.